talk about the end of the last half year. And it started very early morning or sunrise. I started at three or four in the morning, if I remember correctly. And you wear a sack or morning clothes and like black clothes or something. Ask for God to answer your prayers and grant you the ability to see the holy angels. And then you continue with fire to pray some prayer until sunrise. At least 12 hours or longer. Sunrise to sunset if you calculate like that. Do not leave the room. Fast the whole day. Only exceptions is water or a bit of bread. And then after that you lie down in your bed watching the door. Since you are going to start to see things here. And three days for calling the good spirits and three days for the unredeemed spirits. First day, sunrise to noon. Uh, con all praise with fire from your heart. And you will start to, many start to feel an aroma there. And you will feel comfort and replenished in your soul with love for God. And you will feel the call to always love him. And uh, second day, prepare for the advice from your holy guardian angel. And now you listen to the advice from uh, the angel. On the third day, you put on white clothes, praise and enter barefoot. And you thank Adonai for the gift. And if you are successful, you will be crowned by the holy angel. Despite you being totally unworthy of the gift. And now you start to ask the, uh, your guardian angel to support you for the entirety of your life. To guard and control you on all the ro roads and byways of Adonai. To benefit all creation. And then the... Guardian angel, according to the book and uh, as in many experiences, she will, he will tell you how much you hurt him with your behavior in the past and how you will please him in the future. And he will start to teach you wisdom and what you need to learn and how you should behave. And after that discussion, when you are filled with wisdom and insights, the shining light will disappear. And now you eat what is necessary and you completely relax for the first time. The next day, the Holy Guardian Angels gives advice for the following. And now you wear a silk robe, belt, headband or a crown and your wand. Pray and kneel. In the wilderness or face the arbor if you're indoors looking at sunset. And you call upon the four spirit kings. And you call with your heart and mouth aligned and wisdom and insight and open mind. And the spirits, whether you see or feel them, they see your actions and not your mind. And if they see that you are a charlatan... They either ignore you or capture you. And the unskilled power, only power, is to harm themselves. I'm quoting from the book. And the three names, according to Abramelin, you are supposed to call, and the only names are Jehovah, Adonai, and Sabaoth. And then you ask for the respect of the Holy Forefathers, and that's why you must study the Bible during the 18 months. The Holy Angels can control the spirits. And you ask, with, it is written courageously, not fearfully, or arrogantly, but you always ask gently. 
and the Holy Guardian Angel tells you how you how you should ask them to appear, since they can appear in many ways. What you are able to see, or you, otherwise you go crazy. So this is uh, why they can't appear like the same for everyone. And no pentacles or any items here. You are protected by God's right arm and the holy guardian angel. So no occult uh, protection, nothing like that. It's you and the angels and God. And then on the first day, you call on the four kings. And uh, you ask them to swear an oath to come and send servant replacement dukes if they can't come at your request at a certain time. And on the second day, you ask for the eight dukes you have chosen, but you also call for the twelve dukes. And uh, you also have your wand or twig here. So if they didn't come in person, but they sent replacement, they are to touch the wand and twig as an oath. And then on the third day, the eight dukes to bring their servants along with them. So everything is filled with spirits now. And on the first day, you get the oath from the four kings. Second, you choose from the list. Or you can call them all. And if you choose the list, you have their signs and you make them swear on your signs. Otherwise, they touch your wand. And then on the third day, you have the four signs ready to swear their oath upon. And you ask for the four spirits to bring their servants. And there are four kings times four servant spirits. And demand each of your servant spirit, uh, each, each to give you a servant spirit. And uh, you can have four, and they change duty every six hours of the day, and they are to promise to come at your beck and call and serve with duty during the six hours of the day. So you have four spirits at your call at six hours during the six hours they uh, are listed to serve at your call. And um, this is why you need to do the whole full work of the before. And uh, many do the ritual and they might not see everything and feel everything. And uh, it is actually the Holy Guardian Angel who... Uh, you might get a note and they will have to appear with respect to you whether you perceive them or not. So you will see that later on in life where a demon might scare somebody to death, but all you do is that you remind him of that that is not respectful and he should start acting a little bit differently. So that is the main thing you notice. You treat them gently, but with courage and without fear, and they should... Uh, also, and uh, if they don't serve you, you just send them right back and demand for another uh, servant spirit. They are supposed to be of service to you, and you don't serve them. They serve God, and they should act on the benefit for all good of creation. And I will post uh, things on Instagram, so... Names I can't speak, exactly on YouTube and so on. So check out Ek Marjorie on Instagram. And um, this was the quest, uh, question and uh, I nearly laughed. As you can hear, I'm coarse and have gotten a fever and a cold here. So I just laughed that this is funny 
Old Abramelin says right again when I talk about the unredeemed, here comes the cold. So I just had to laugh about it. But I also talked to an old friend who is 80 on the phone and his experiences. So I tried to make that also into... We've spoken for a couple of uh, hours on the phone already. So I will make a video, try to get it up about the experiences he and I had, so I tried to get it out as together. So, since we all have different experiences after the ritual and what we do and what we don't, so have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.